What's wrong with you know what SB 1070 is? Tell me what it is. It's basically a law for an officer to pull me over and ask for my papers. But well, I've never even been to Mexico. Okay, well, I think people should be asked for their papers regardless of the skin. Okay, color. so who, so then we go. Here's white privilege. Why is who, that white privilege? Okay, here we I, go. I, uh, how's that white privilege? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Who are yeah. they going to ask for their papers, me or you? I get asked for papers all the time no, when I get don't. pulled over. Yeah, well, I, I get, can show you my pile of Do you get asked tickets. to prove that you're a citizen of the United States? Hold, hold, hold on a second. First of all, I get asked for my driver's license all the time when I get pulled over. In fact, every time I get pulled over, I get asked for my driver's you're license, okay? So, but here, here's the one thing. Hold on. I, I, do you really think that you're, you're being pulled over just because of the color of your skin? Dude, it's happened many times. Hey, guess what? You're I get pulled over to... too. You're never, you're never going to know it because you don't look like me, man. Wait, hold you're on. You're never going to have to so, know my struggles. Wait, so, I mean, th th this is the problem. I'm just going to give you a piece of advice. Honestly, you can... Bro. For... <sighs> oh, my gosh. Why are people this stupid? Why are people this stupid? What do y'all feel as if white people just don't go through anything? Do, I mean, seriously, do y'all feel like they just don't go through nothing? They just these perfect white people. Their family done grew up in all this money. Like, I'm just so confused. How is getting pulled over and a police asking you for your papers? How does that, how, how does that, what does that have to do with your skin color? I, I get pulled over and get asked for papers. I'm pretty sure white people get pulled over and ask for a license registration or anything that the police need to identify the person that's driving the vehicle. You people are just so stupid. I mean, y'all just make a problem about every single thing. Oh, there goes your white privilege. Bro, this is what I don't realize. Y'all always speak on white privilege. Do y'all not realize that it's black people, black kids that have privilege also? Do you not look at LeBron James? I mean, look at all his kids. His kid, his freaking 18 year old son is signed to Nike at 18. If that man never wanted to work a job, he don't have to work a job. He don't have to go to the NBA. He will be straight. Look at Shaquille O'Neal kids. Look at uh, Kevin Hart kids. Look at Nick Cannon kids. All these kids is growing up in a privileged household. In a privileged household, they raised with money already. Like y'all people, y'all scream white privilege. Like, bro, not every white person that grew up with. A family who was rich trust him trust me i just asked a white person yesterday i said what was your upcoming like as a kid he said man i was like well first i was like did you have all the money he was like man hell no nah. he that's exactly how i said excuse my friend but that's exactly how he was like man hell no nah. i had an abusive father i had to work for what i like he had to work key word he had to work for it it's not white privilege ain't nothing in life just given to you bro y'all need to realize that dude People are so stupid, man. Wait, so, I mean, th th this is the problem. I'm just going to give you a piece of advice. Honestly, you complimented me and Candace Owens. You're looking at the world as a victim, okay? You're looking at the world as if there's systemic racism and the evil white man that's trying to crush you. It's a lie. It's a lie that is designed to keep you down. It's a lie that is designed to try and disempower you. And I, white people get pulled over all the time to be asked for their papers. And if a non-citizen does not have their papers, they should be deported from this country if they do not have their papers. So please go ahead. All right, before you start saying I'm playing that victim thing, I'm never going to call myself a victim, but I'm not blind to the fact that my journey is going to be different than someone that doesn't look like me. You're right. So you know how it's going to be Hold different? On. It's going to be easier for you. It's because affirmative action laws benefit people of color above white applicants to certain universities. In Texas... If you try to get Regeneron or monoclonal antibodies, the specific position of the Texas Health and Human Services is we only give Regeneron to Hispanic and black people and not to white people. At State Street Capital Advisors, if you want to be a financial manager, you know they're not allowed to hire white people without board permission, yet they can hire Hispanic people and black people as much as they want. Do you know that United Airlines wants to double the amount of Hispanic and black pilots and try to hire less white pilots? You're right. You and I have it different. And currently, the current regime and status quo is making it easier for you. You have privilege. <laughs> he just shot him up real quick, y'all. That man just shot that. Bro, he just shot him up real, real quick. Look, when it comes to this white privilege and it comes to all this nonsense, I'm going to be honest. You know, I'm not, look, 
I don't believe in it. The reason I don't believe in it is because I believe that everybody go through the same struggles no matter what your skin color is. You can be white, Hispanic, Chinese. It don't matter what your skin color is. Everybody go through some type of hell, bro. Look, it's not privilege. We're all humans. We all go through something. You know what I'm saying? We're not here to be perfect. We're not here to have this perfect life. Even the rich people don't have a perfect life. They may be rich, but why do you think so many rich people commit? You know what I'm saying? That's because they're not even happy with the uh, in the predicament that they're in. Even though some of us that that ain't got even 500,000 in our account you know we only got that much but a person that got that much not even happy with the life that they're living when it's somebody like us who wish we was living that life my point is it's not privilege if you just work for something and you work hard at it you know you can get anything you want i don't look at if a white person or any type of person get a job over me and i have all the qualifications my mindset is like i'm not going to look at it as oh that's because they're white oh that's because they're hispanic so they got the job no what i'm gonna look at is i'm gonna go 10 times hard and i'm gonna go to a bigger company a better company that will hire me as a black individual that's better than the company i apply for that's just my mindset it's all within your mindset. If you change your mindset, a lot of different things will be an outcome. Stop playing victim. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, just know that God is over everything and God sees everything. You know what I'm saying? He sees everything. We shouldn't be looking at people by race. We should be looking at people by the characteristics. In the Bible, it states that you know a tree by its fruits. We need to look at people's fruits, not the color of their skin. And I'm going to leave it at that, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation in the, in the comment section below. Um... First of all, if the police pull you over, they're going to ask for papers regardless. You know what I'm saying? Now, I see what they was talking about. They was talking about, like, leaving the country, coming in the country. But I was uh, merely speaking on just, like, getting pulled over in general. You know, they always ask for something. ID, license, registration, please. Whoa, whoa. You know, do you know why I pull you over? They're going to always ask some questions. Not the color of your skin. Because half of the time when police pull you over, they don't even know the color of the person that's driving the uh, vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I got tents on my uh I got tents on my car. So if I got pulled over, I'm not gonna say it's because I'm black. Bro, my tents is blacks. So they're not gonna see me. They, they're not gonna see who in the vehicle. If I was doing something illegal, they're gonna pull me over. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think about the com uh about this in the comment section below. Uh I love each and every one of y'all. I try to do something a little bit different. I'm taking y'all advice, I'm taking the criticism, I'm trying not to pause too much. Just get my thoughts towards the end and maybe towards the middle. But I'm going to just get right into the video. You know what I'm saying? That's just something I'm just trying. Y'all let me know how y'all think about it. Uh, I just want to interact with y'all more. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.